Oh, hi there. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry we weren't at the plaza today. Lee is unwell, you see. He is at home with fever. There is one thing, in fact. A thing Lee asked me to do. Lee asked me to deliver these care packages. He has been secretly aiding those in need since he doesn't want to embarrass them in front of the whole town. I hope you can go with me. I'm worried about someone will come to rob these packages. Thank you. Everyone in Portia is so kind. I'm so glad me and Jack ended up here. I'm glad I ended up here as well. Anyway, I hope your business gets better soon. Please, take this as a thank you. Thank you so much, Nora. This will really help us out. The church is glad to help. I feel so bad relying on your kindness, but it's so hard to provide for three daughters. Just make sure you follow the budget next time, and we don't have to rely on the church. But it's too strict. Life can't always be about work. We need to have fun, too. Thank you, Nora. You know I will pay you back once I get a job. No need, Oaks. It is a gift. The church is happy to help everyone. Thank you for helping me. Remember to keep this a secret. Minister Lee doesn't want the people in need to feel bad about getting aid from the church. So, can you please keep quiet about it? Wind power? For South Block? I'd love to help you out, but I'm not exactly on talking terms with my family. Besides, they're silversmiths. I'm not sure how much help they'd be. <laughs> you should be talking with Nora instead. Yeah, her family owns the Highwind Electric Company, so I'm pretty sure she knows everything there's to know about generators. Hi, can I help you? Oh, that's simple. All you need is... Wait, Nora! Minister. I've heard what's going on, Nora. You cannot help with this corrupted project. But... Nora, you became a missionary because of your family's position on technology, right? If you help with this, how are you different from them? That's all I'm going to say on this subject. You need to think about it and decide. Minister Lee? Yes, I came on this mission because I strongly believe that what my family is doing isn't right. My father runs a major business in Highwind, and his company makes machines of war. Now, I'm not naive enough to think that we don't need any weapons at all, but after 300 years of darkness, it makes me mad that the first thing we do once we get back on our feet is start shooting each other! No, I think the minister is wrong in this instance. I know you're doing this for the benefit of Portia. Petra's missing piece is a gearbox device. I'll go tell her about it. You just wait for the diagram. Don't worry. The minister will come around once he sees the result. I like you, too. Oh, that means we're officially a couple now. Very smoothly. The people of Portia are so nice and supportive of what I do. I couldn't have wished for a better town to be at. It's very enlightening. I feel like we're doing a lot of good work beyond just letting the people know that the relics from the past are dangerous. Never felt so warm and happy. The people of Portia are very nice, so it's actually pretty fun being here. I might even stay after my mission's over. It's tough sometimes being away from family, but Portia has been a very welcoming town. My family's a pretty well-off trading family in Highwind, so I had the opportunity to travel all around the Alliance, even a couple of trips to Ethia and Barnarok. Once my mission is up, 
I plan on attending the University of Atara and studying trade. I went on a study trip to Mady before. The ocean breeze there was unforgettable. Well, let me think. I do like fruits. I like exquisite things with fine details. Well, as long as you don't give me any old parts, then I'm fine. You! You must have stolen it! What are you talking about? Don't play blockhead with me. The locator computer was right here on our work table last night, and now it's gone. Who else in town would want it out of our hands? You robot hater! Now listen here. I have no idea what you're talking about. We would never stoop so low as to steal. Everything we do is legitimate. I'm offended that you would even think of us like that. Please, Minister. Are you talking about that computer Inspector Molly just found? Yes, it's a very important item to us. To me. Petra, we really don't have it. Director Merlin, we can allow you and the Civil Corps to search our temple to remove any suspicion. What? Nora! No, I won't allow that. First they insulted us. Now we must prove our innocence by letting pagans rummage through our temple? I won't stand for it. Fine then. We're taking this to the mayor to see what he thinks. Oh, that's fine by me. Let's go. Oh, did you see that argument? <laughs> it was an unpleasant sight. Seems like it, but we really didn't take it. We'd never do things like that. I don't know. The church and the research center are regularly in opposition to one another, I, I suppose. So it's hard to say. There's not much else we can do, except to wait for the Civil Corps to complete their investigation. Although I did hear that Arlo and Remington won't be back for a while, as they're helping Inspector Molly with her survey. Only Sam's available in town. Can you check with her and see if you can help her out? I really want to clear our name quickly, but I can't be seen too close to the investigation, as I'm part of the implicated party. Thanks. I very much appreciate it. You found it! This is great! What happened? Oh. I guess I was mistaken to have accused the church. What do you know? I suppose next time Lee wants to start a verbal disagreement, I'll let him win for once. Hmm... Can you let Lee know what I said? No. Wait. Tell Nora that I said sorry. The director said that? Wow, that's a first. <laughs> I'm just happy this whole incident is behind us. Thank you so much for your help. Arlo's back. I wonder if he knows why the Bandit Brothers took that relic. Wow. Are you really proposing? Yes, I accept! I've waited a long time! By the power given to me by the Holy Spirit, I hereby pronounce you united under the everlasting sun. Honey? Want to go for a walk with me? Honey? 
Honey, 